Cubase has always been the choice for professional composers and arrangers, and with the new multi-part editing in the key editor, MIDI editing reaches new levels of flexibility. You can switch between parts, edit multiple tracks, and always have a full overview of even ultra complex arrangements. Let me show you what you can do. In order to show you what the multi-part editing allows you to do, I'm going to use an orchestral arrangement that I have here with multiple MIDI parts. And this is kind of a modest arrangement when it comes to size. Sometimes the channel count can go up to 300, 400 channels. And this is where the multi-part editing will be a great asset. Let me show you. I'm going to go here to my first violins and I'm going to open this part. And this opens as normal. As you can see, I have my violins part right here. But now what I can do is I can open my multi-part editor right here. And now you will see that I have all the rest of the channels right here. So imagine this. Let's say I want to work on my string arrangement. As you can see, I have my woodwinds here. I have my brass. I have my percussion. But let's say I want to work on my strings. What I can do is I can click on this and I can start bringing more parts into my key editor like this. And I can see all of them at a glance without going back into the project window, selecting more MIDI parts and so on and so forth. And now I can also have all the parts right here. So I can select this part or maybe this event and I can immediately focus on this in the key editor. Let's say I want to focus on just my violins and my flute, for example. I can do this very, very easily by selecting the correct channels. Or maybe I want to check my entire arrangement. I can just click and drag and I can start adding more and more parts into my key editor. And the great thing is that if I want to start focusing on a specific part, it's very, very simple. So let's say I want to focus on my harp part here. I can just click on the harp part. And then if I want to jump to my flutes here, or switch to my trumpets here, or my tubular bells. So I can fly through my arrangement. It's extremely fast and I can edit all the separate parts without losing the full scope of my arrangement. And this is going to be very useful whether you're working on orchestral music or if you're working on a very busy production. And you can customize the workflow exactly how you want to. For example, if I want, let's say, to edit these parts right here, I can pin these parts in the editor and if I go back to my project window and select different parts, these are going to stay here. That's very important if you're working on multiple monitors and you have your key editor on a separate monitor. The other thing that you can do is you can change the track display settings. So you can show the tracks here or hide them. You can display just the active track or all the visible tracks. And you can also choose to enlarge the active track as well. And it goes without saying that we also have visibility agents. So you can say, I want to show all tracks or show just selected tracks or show tracks with data at the cursor position. So if I move my cursor here and I select this, you will see that the selection is going to change to reflect the tracks that are playing at that specific point of the arrangement. And as with everything in Cubase, we can also search for tracks. So if I want to search for my euphonium, I can just type euphonium here and I can find it straight away and I can focus straight on that. And the multi-part editing works in the key editor, but also in the drum editor. This new way of multi-part editing will allow you to work very fast, even in the most complex arrangements. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out the rest of the Cubase 13 videos to find out what's new in Cubase 13. See you in the next one.